Hi, Miss Pena. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me to talk about your paper sculpture camp happening July 20th through the 24th from 1230 to 4. But before we get to talking about your camp, give me a little bit of background about who you are and how you got into art. Yes, um, my name is Apinya Si Kwon Tong. I was born and raised in Bangkok, Thailand. My artistic journey began back home in Thailand where I had art workshops since I was young. I discovered my passion to create art, so I attended to an art college in Bangkok to pursue my undergraduate program in painting. While studying art in Bangkok, I was honored to join a reality fire art competition TV show and won a second place. So I was granted a scholarship from the Thai PBS channel. Wow. With the scholarship and my family support, I was grateful to continue my studies in San Francisco. And in San Francisco, I was so thankful that I was able to attend a paper sculpture class where I discovered my, my passion to create artwork about paper wow. so yes that's the beginning of my paper sculpture journey wow. <laughs> yes, and after, yes after graduation I taught paper sculpture and mixed media classes in Fremont California and later applied to the Navasota artist in residence program as a nature inspired artist I'm so thankful to be here to observe nature and grow my art I also love teaching and sharing my paper art techniques to others. So thank you, the Arts Council, too, for having me at the Paper Sculpture Camp. I'm so excited. Us too. We are <laughs> super lucky to have you as one of our, our teachers. Um, and one of the questions I also love to ask is, why are the arts important? Uh, oh, art is joy, art is fun, and art is positive energy, art is an open door to um, many opportunities, to imagination and creativity. Without art, it will be like um, the world without the sun. Exactly, you've got that completely right. So we're going to talk about your paper sculpture art camp happening July 20th through the 24th from 1230 to 4. So yes. what will we be doing on day one? On day one, we will uh, do a paper mache with balloons. It will be messy but fun for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, uh, we will we may we may play outside, but we will see. It depends on the weather. Because paper mache, um, uh, I I suggest to do it outside. So then, if it gets messy, it's okay to get messy on the ground. Yes. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So then, day two would be. Day two will be, uh, we will do paper making. Well, I, uh, two years ago, I have paper making most from Greta from the frame gallery in Bryan. So if Greta is listening, thank oh. you so much for donating the molds for us. Yes, and two years ago, I've been using the paper making molds for teaching how to do paper arts to the community. So um, this summer, I will bring these paper making molds to the summer camp and we will play with it. Greta is a fantastic artist. Super glad that she was able to help you out. That's so exciting. So day three would be? Day, two, day three will be, uh, we will do a low relief paper sculpture. So uh, we will turn our 2D drawings into 3D artwork. And um, we will learn about famous paper artists like Jeff Nichinaga, and also uh, we will learn about my work as well. <laughs> wow, that's exciting. So then day four would be? Day four will be, uh, well, I hope that on day four, our paper mache will be dry completely. But if not, um, we will use a hair dryer to help it dry. <laughs> nice. And then we'll paint, we'll paint on our paper mache and then finish our, our paper mache project. And the, after that, if we have more time, we will create a card or a printmaking from our handmade paper that we made on Tuesday. Nice. Nice. And then to end that week, what will you be doing? The end of 
this week uh, we will do paper collage and uh, origami or the art of folding paper. So it's going to be kind of mixed media. I will allow students to use, um, to combine all the techniques about paper that we have learned so far to finish their uh, last project on Friday. Awesome. So if anyone is interested in taking Miss Sapina's paper sculpture class, June, Ju I'm sorry, it would be July 20th through the 24th from 1230 to four. And if you want any information, go to our website at acbv.org. We also have our procedures on our website that talk about what best practices for our students and our teachers. So that way we keep everyone up at the Arts Council safe and protect everyone and we've got all kinds of things in there that we're doing for disinfecting and all kinds of great information but if you still have questions feel free to give us a call so miss Sapina, thank you so much for joining us and i look forward to seeing you in your class soon yeah so thank you so much for having me thank you see you later yeah